It was the spring of 2008. I had been pursuing acting for a couple of months when I scored my first audition. I was so excited. The call was for a non-union commercial to air during late night programming. It was supposed to be a funny spoof on a phone sex commercial. This sounds awesome, I said to myself. <laughs> Saturday Night Live was my favorite show and I was really into my new improv class. All I wanted was to be a comedy star. This could be my big break. The audition started out like any other. At a private residence near Zuma Beach in Melbourne. <laughs> I was told to wear a bikini. I was 22 and I had never been to an audition before, so that made total sense. <laughs> I took the day off from my waitressing job because MapQuest told me that the drive could take anywhere from 50 minutes to three and a half hours. <laughs> and who was I to risk squandering my big break? As I made the drive up the coast, I listened to the latest P. Diddy album and reminded myself not to get my hopes up too high. Booking one's first ever audition would be crazy baller, even for me. <laughs> I pulled up to the address I was given, an apartment complex on Pacific Coast Highway. I wasn't provided any instructions for parking, so I left my car in a sandy ditch, then stumbled up to the door in my kitten heels. <clears throat> a couple of headshots fell out of the portfolio that I was carrying, and they blew away in the wind. I prayed they'd be picked up by some beach-going producer looking to cast his next ingenue. <laughs> I would later find out I'm not an ingenue, but rather a quirky best friend. <laughs> but that's beside the point. The apartment looked like it had been frozen in 1987. Ugly floral couch, wicker chairs, and seafoam green lampshades. If Joan Collins had ever designed a timeshare, this was it. On the same wall as a large bay window with a full beach view, there was an airbrush painting of an almost identical beach in Hawaii. I noted the irony. <laughs> Are all casting offices located in hideous apartments, I wondered? There was no one else waiting, and there was no waiting area, so I would say I just went right in, but I was just there. <laughs> there was a card table containing a stack of phantom actresses' headshots. Where were these people? I hadn't seen anyone coming or going. Behind the table stood a casting director, who looked as professional as she could have, wearing a blush pink suit that looked like it was made from the same fabric as the panties in the clearance section at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Next to her stood a mustached Italian man, who in hindsight is the greatest caricature I have ever seen. <laughs> Do all Hollywood executives look like they own a dry cleaners, I wondered? <laughs> my audition consisted of panty suit asking me my measurements and sleazy stash asked them to see my bikini bod. I thought I was prepared for this, but in the moment I was mortified. I hadn't anticipated having to disrobe in front of them. I made a joke about all, about all the sand that was trapped inside of my kitten heels and was presently emancipating itself in the thick moth carpet. I thought the humor would be appreciated. This was a comedy gig, right? I had to show them my chops. <laughs> no one smiled. <laughs> No words were exchanged except for a thank you. On the drive home, my car broke down. I was shaken up and angry. I cursed myself for taking a day off of waitressing to drive all the way to Malibu for an audition I'll never book because I'm not even funny enough. P. Diddy would be mortified. <laughs> on the tow truck on the way to the mechanic, I got a call from Panty Suit. I had booked the funny spoof of a phone sex commercial. More importantly, I had booked my first audition ever. Do casting directors always book actors within 30 minutes of the audition, I wonder? <laughs> I didn't care. People said it takes years to build a Hollywood career, and there I was, about to show them I could do it in under a day. <laughs> I was elated. 
<laughs> the day of the shoot was my Christmas. I woke up early, I treated myself to a fancy bagel, and I called my mom <laughs> in Iowa to remind her that her daughter was about to become a famous late night comedy star. I packed my suitcase with a selection of bikinis. As I drove the 35 miles back to Malibu, I wondered, are commercial shoots usually held in the same location as the audition? <laughs> <laughs> back in the apartment, Sleazy Stash had brought a crony who I'll call Big Burns due to his shockingly prominent sideburns. <laughs> there are also three girls representing the commercial ethnic spectrum, one blonde, one African American, and one Asian. I felt honored to represent Caucasian brunettes. <laughs> I felt confident I had beat out a lot of them for this role. The other girls and I waited in the living room while Sleazy Stash and Big Burns fought with the camcorder. On the card table, in place of the headshot pile, were bottles of Bacardi Raz, along with mixers. Do they usually serve cocktails at commercial shoots, I wonder? <laughs> I chatted with the girls, except for the blonde one who spent the whole time crying to someone on a rotary phone attached to the wall. <laughs> Landlines hadn't been a thing for years, and that felt weird. Does she live here, I wondered? While the blonde girl wailed on the phone, something about daycare, I tried to spark up a conversation with the other girls. Where have you studied comedy? I asked. I'm at Upright Citizens Brigade. <laughs> no one had heard of it, so I spelled it out. <laughs> U. C. B. <laughs> Both girls just stared at me and said they were models. This is a comedy shoot. Where are the comedians? I wondered. One girl inquired about start paperwork, and Sleazy Stash just said there would be none. Everyone would be getting paid $150 cash. The other girls seemed okay with that. Do actors always get paid in $50 bills? I wondered. <laughs> I decided I probably just didn't know how Hollywood worked. I was new after all. Maybe actors do film tipsy. Who needs a script when you're a trained improviser? <laughs> I definitely would have made more money at my waitressing job that day, but none of my, films had, my friends had filmed a commercial yet. I would be the first one to have that bragging right, and probably an invitation to Diddy's white party once it aired. <laughs> After fiddling with the camcorder for about an hour, Sleazy Stash and Big Burns called us ladies to set. And by to set, I mean into the bedroom. We are instructed to jump on the bed in our bikinis, have a pillow fight, and make suggestive faces. Sleazy Stash directed us by making weird motions with his hand, while Big Burt's pathetically attended, attempted to be cinematographer, gaffer, and sound recordist all at once. <laughs> and all at once, I realized bikinis, pillow fight, lots of booze, cash under the table. I was filming an actual phone sex commercial. <laughs> I jumped off the bed and yelled, cut. <laughs> I think Sleazy Stash saw this coming. He had noticed I wasn't drinking my Bacardi, and he saw the light bulbs pop up in my head as he asked me to lick my lips into the flip phone that I was provided. <laughs> he didn't seem to appreciate my line punch-ups either. <laughs> this is a spoof of a phone sex commercial for a late-night comedy show, right? I asked without breaking eye contact. After a long pause, he stuttered. It will be aired late at night. <laughs> Possibly during comedy shows. Gross! I said as I packed up my suitcase of swimwear. I am leaving, and you want to burn all of my footage. If I see any of this on TV, I am suing you. My dad is a lawyer, I added, lying. <laughs> I later saw that commercial on late night TV. 
It was very hard to watch. Thankfully, I was not in it. I never saw Panty Suit, Sleazy Stash, or any of those girls ever again. Sometimes I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> if they're still models, or maybe real estate agents, or Pilates instructors in Calabasas. <laughs> I listen to P. Diddy, and all I can think about is traffic on the PCH, being broke, and the sweet stench of the Cardi Raz. <laughs> Will I ever get my big break, I wonder? Mm -hmm.